Hi everyone! To celebrate this Chinese New Year, the SIS teacher decided to tell you a story. And the story that we are going to be reading to you today is the story of the 12th Zodiac. A long time ago, in China, the Jade Emperor decided there should be a way to measure time. He told the animals they were to compete in a race. The first 12 animals would be rewarded by having a year named after them. On the day of the race, all the animals lined up beside the river. The rat and the cat, who were good friends, were worried as they were not very good at swimming. They asked the ox if he would carry them across on his back. <laughs> the ox agreed. Okay, let's go. And they jump on his back. When the race started, the rat and the cat were very pleased that the ox took the lead. They were almost across at the other side when the rat pushed the cat into the water and jumped on the bank to finish first. Well done, said the Jade Emperor to the rat. First year of the zodiac will be named after you. The poor ox was tricked into second place, and so the second year of the zodiac it was named after him. Shortly after, the exhausted tiger arrived on the food bank. Swimming the river had been very difficult as he had to fight strong currents. The next to arrive was the rabbit, who hadn't swum across but had hopped across onto some stepping stones and then onto a floating log which carried him across to the river bank. I shall call the fourth year after you, the surprised Jade Emperor said. In fifth place, was the dragon. How come you didn't win when you could fly across? The emperor asked. I stopped the help some animals, the dragon explained. Heading towards the line was the horse. Just as the horse was going to cross, the sly snake wriggled around one of the horse's hooves. The horse was so surprised that he jumped backwards, giving the snake the perfect opportunity to slither in. Sixth place. And the horse had to settle for seventh. Not long afterward, a raft arrived carrying with the monkey, the rooster, and the goat. They explained how they had worked as a team to get across. The emperor was very pleased. He said the goat would be the eighth year, the monkey would be the ninth, and the rooster would be the tenth. The next animal to arrive was the dog. What took you so long when you're such a good swimmer? asked the emperor. The river was so clean that I had to take a bath along the way, explained the dog. And he was rewarded the 11th year. There was one place left in the zodiac and the emperor wondered hmm, who the last winner would be. All of a sudden, the pig turned up. You took a long time. What happened? The emperor asked. I was hungry, so I stopped to eat. Then I fell asleep, said the pig. So the twelfth year was given to the pig. As for the cat, he finally crawled out of the river, but was too late to have a year named after him. He was very angry with the cat. For pushing him in. Since then, the cat have never been friends with rats. From that day to this day, the Chinese zodiac has followed the cycle of years named after the 12 animals. Thank you to all our wonderful staff for telling us the story of the zodiac. It was very informative and very interesting. It is the year of the ox, but unlike any other year, a lot of our friends and colleagues will be unable to go home and spend Chinese New Year and have reunion dinner with their families and loved ones. I hope this changes next year, of course, um, as we all do. 
Um, but I know there'll be lots of fireworks this year, um, as always, and I hope there'll be lots of ampals. Um, I do hope you stay safe. I do hope you have a relaxing holiday and go to Chai.